Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get the files off a non-running Windows computer by using a Linux Live CD to boot to. So let's say you have a Windows computer and it's not starting up and nothing you do is getting it to boot up, it keeps crashing and so on, and you don't want to actually have to take it apart, take the hard drive out, put it in a caddy and try and get your files off while connecting it to another computer. So what you could do is boot to a live Linux CD such as Ubuntu or Nopix, that type of thing and then attach a, an external USB hard drive or flash drive and then copy them off from there. So how that works is you boot the uh, CD and you're actually running Linux in memory rather than installing on your hard drive because obviously you don't want to install Linux over your Windows files and then you won't have your Windows files anymore. So I'm going to show you how this works. So I have a virtual machine here we're going to do this on and I have the uh, Ubuntu Linux CD mounted. So, so pretend this is your actual physical computer and you have the CD in the drive and you start it up. So from here you want to pick Ubuntu. You don't need the safe mode or the install obviously and you don't need to do the memory test. So hit enter. And it'll take a few minutes for actually to actually load up the files. And so like I said this is running in memory so you're not installing it on the computer. Okay, so this is the important part here. Pick your language and you want to click on Try Ubuntu. You don't want to install it because you don't want to uh, remove any of your Windows partitions or wipe out any of your files. So click on this. Okay, so now you'll have this Windows desktop. Like I said, it's running in memory. So if you were to you know, create some files here or whatever, shut it down, then start it back up, it's going to go back to this default with all your stuff removed. Okay, so once you're there, you could click on this files folder here and then you want to go to other locations and there's the hard drive itself this has the windows files on it so you can see there's windows and here's users so we'll go over to this guy Todd and we'll go to his pictures so he's got some pictures there okay so then once you plug in a USB drive it should pop up here in the USB section and then you could click on it to mount it and then it should add it to your uh, panel on the left here. And you can see I got nothing in there. And now I need to go back to my files though. So back to these pictures on the Windows drive here. All right, so now I have my Windows hard drive here with my user account with the pictures folder open there and then I have my flash drive here so now one thing you want to kind of be aware of what I would do you know get a blank flash drive or the hard drive and format it with NTFS FAT32 you might get some weird errors when you try and copy it over I've noticed that before it seems like NTFS works better at least it does for me so now we could highlight these guys here drag them over and now we have them there on the flash drive so you could go ahead and just go ahead and do that with all your other folders and stuff too and just copy all your files and folders over to your flash drive assuming you have room and then when you're done you could just close out power off you could just power off okay so now i could go open that flash drive and there's the files that i copied over right there you know, obviously I just did a few of them. You'd probably do a lot more if you're trying to get everything off your PC. So once again, uh, make that uh, Ubuntu CD or bootable flash drive. Uh, put it in your computer, boot to it. Make sure you click the, you know, the run in live mode. You don't want to install it. Copy your files over to a USB drive and then shut it down and you should be good to go. I'll put a link in the description for the download for Ubuntu and then you can take it from there. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.